Hop in the truck and like set your tilt however you want it. You know what I mean? Cause you have to re-angle the mirrors. All right, so with this side all set, everything is good to go. We're gonna move over to the passenger side now. All right, so this is what you don't wanna do. Um, so what happened here is I was prying uh, too high on the mirror. So with it pressing too high on the mirror, it actually cracked this. So you wanna make sure you're down low enough. We just ordered a replacement OEM for this. It was around 70 bucks. So not the end of the world, but something that is definitely preventable. The new mirror showed up. The part number for the passenger side is 680-40-20-36 Alpha Alpha. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to swap out this broken mirror glass that we broke and put the new one in. So we're not gonna show too much of the process of pulling this out, um, but once we get inside, we will show you what it looks like on the inside. All right, so here's the old mirror removed. And one thing we noticed is the new one doesn't come with these metal uh, clips. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and swap out this one and this one over here and move them over. Uh, these things slide right out and uh, we're gonna transfer them over and go ahead and drop this new part in. like two days later I'm in the process of editing this video uh, I did a quick search on YouTube and I never really saw an informative video on how to actually replace the outer mirror cover um, so real quick the first steps you're gonna want to do is you take your mirror and you tilt it all the way down like this so with this all the way down what you're essentially doing is trying to get a screwdriver through this gap here and get down to the tabs. Now I'm gonna show you on the mirror that I originally broke off of this truck, what exactly you're looking for. So this is my broken driver's side mirror and this is the glass that came out of it. And if you look on the back, you see these tabs. There's the tab. There's a tab here and a tab here, and then in the opposite quadrants as well. You have a tab here and a tab here. So as I showed you on this mirror, with this thing pulled down, what you're essentially trying to do is get your screwdriver behind here and lift these tabs off this motor. And then once you get these top two tabs off, all you have to do is pry your mirror down slowly. Disconnect your wires, and that'll give you access to your T15 bolt that would sit here. Uh, it's just a T15 Torx. Um, I'll put a clip in the video that shows uh, what it looks like, but be very careful when you're pulling down on this, because that's how you end up with the cracked mirror. So if you see in the later footage of the video, you'll see why we had to replace uh, Frank's on his truck. Um, it was the first time any of us have done that before, and I don't think we would have tackled it unless I had a mirror to practice on. But um, if anybody wants to try it, if you want to try the driver's side, I do have a 100% fully functional driver's side glass. So if you want to start with your driver's side, and if you break it, you can get a hold of me. All right guys, enjoy the video. So once you have the mirror glass removed, the mirror cover itself is only held in from the T15 screw, the four J hooks on the inside, and there's one point here from the outside. So what I did is I took my flathead screwdriver and I push this first J hook through 
and I pushed this top one through and I took a Bondo tool and I put my tool right here on the seam like this to keep those ones from reinserting. And I slid this down, I pushed the other two J hooks through and then I was able to get my hand behind here on the mirror cover and I pried the mirror cover out and then I just pulled it to get this last point out. When you guys go to reinstall the new mirror cover, it snaps directly in place. You'll reinstall your T15 screw. You'll connect your two connectors for your heat. You'll also connect your plug for your auto tint. You'll take your motor and you'll set it flat. And then previously mentioned the four tabs on here. That's the only thing that keeps this glass on. So with it flat and everything connected, you just snap this back in place and you're good to go. Um, again, I was only showing you on the extra mirror I had for my driver's side, but I wanted to go through and give you guys some tips on how to actually remove the mirror cover. Um, if anyone has any questions, uh, reach out to us on Instagram at SoFifthGen. And if you guys don't have Instagram, you could also reach us on Facebook at SoFitGen. But this is a great alternative for anyone that has a base model Bighorn and wants to take their mirror covers and match them to their truck. Hey, we're in the mirror club, I'm in the mirror club now. Yeah, I'm on to two on these fifth shots. At least on yours though, we only broke glass. Mine, I destroyed it. All right, so we're ready to install the new glass. Uh, one thing I want to note is this blue wire. Uh, there's one wire with the blue. This one goes to the right if you have the mirror facing down. So if you take these off and you forget to notice which is which, uh, it's blue towards the right. So we're going to go ahead and connect this. And then with our motor sitting flat, we're going to connect the wires and push this directly in. guys all in all this takes roughly I'd say an hour half hour per side once you know what you're doing I do recommend to start with the passenger side um, the driver's side glass replacement is around 140 bucks and that's due to having the extra features with the auto tint um, we started with the driver's side because if you've seen my last video I actually did a mirror replacement on my white truck and we got lucky we didn't break this side, but then we jumped over to the passenger side. We got the mirror cover on, but we ended up breaking out the glass. So the glass replacement OEM um, from Mopar is $64 shipped to my house. So we're gonna wait for that and we'll get this glass placed out. But uh, the mirror covers, you said you paid 65, 60? 60 bucks for the covers and these are also OEM covers. Everything is exactly paint matched to his truck for the brilliant black and it looks awesome. All right guys, see ya.